in preparation for the upcoming Caboodle Kit thing, Dark Shadows theme thing, I have been looking for um, supplies and inspiration, and I remembered this collaborative Halloween book project from years ago, 20 years ago <laughs> to be exact. And I'm pretty sure I flipped through it before, but I'm going to do it again because it's been a while and um, it, it might help inspire y'all for the Dark Shadows slash Gothic Architecture slash Halloween project. So uh, this was done in um, 2002. It was a collaborative book thing where, you know, there were 13 of us. Um, it was hosted by Donna Joy. And she got together 13 friends, and we all made a spread for the book, and we made 13 of them, sent them in, and then she collated them and bound them into this hardback book. And she put, she made three signatures. This was really cool 20 years ago. It has been packed and moved and stored and mistreated <laughs> that it's just a mess this reminds me it's like my daughter's hair when she comes in from playing you know or you know, back in the day 20 years ago and and then you have to go through and detangle it that's what it reminds me of and i want to sit and do that but yeah not right now so um let's look through the book and you can see the kinds of things that we were doing back in 2002 if you weren't in this this um, paper crafting world back then. So uh, Donna included the list of participants of Haunting 2002. And they are Melissa David, Shannon Green, Patty Heeb, H-E-I-B. Please forgive any mispronunciations. I'm doing my best here. Uh, Sally Hill, Donna Joy, Joan Kerr, Carrie McCarville, April Mott, Lisa Renner, Margot Rudder, Ann Sager, um, Red Dog Scott, and Terry Winery. And oh my gosh, I still lived in Texas at this time. Wow, this this has this has seen some miles. <laughs> so. Um, Donna put it together. She included for each of us a CD of um, eerie music that uh, she compiled herself so that we could listen to it while we're enjoying our book. And this first signature has art by Shannon Green, Lisa Renner, Melissa David, and Donna Joy. So let's go through and... This first page was mine, and I used a rubber stamp. She's just one of my favorite kind of weird, creepy goddess rubber stamps. She's a little bit naughty, you know, just a little bit, because she's a creepy goddess, and she just don't care. So <laughs> that's her story. And part of the project was that each of us were to make a spread for the book, and then include some kind of a creepy story. It could be, you know, a memory that we had, something that happened to us. It can be a story that's already written that was out there. It can be a poem. It can be whatever. So I wrote a poem for mine. And mine kind of goes with my little creepy goddess here. And it's called The Demon Mother. I'll read it for you. She stands alone in the dark of night. Her eyes glow crimson firelight. Breath like breath of sulfur, flesh like ice, preparing for the sacrifice. I can't really see. I'm trying to decide if I need to move further or closer. <clears throat> I'm in the mood, sorry. No human heart did ever beat within her chest. She's incomplete. An empty shell is what remains with evil coursing through her veins. She draws a breath, throws back her head. Her banshee wailing wakes the dead. She calls for those whose souls have burned, whose loyalty has never turned. They serve the demon mother well and bide their time in the pit of hell. They heed the call of the evil one. The ceremony has begun. 
The chosen child lies soft and sweet upon the altar at her feet. She lifts the arm of the innocent babe and carves his wrist with her gleaming blade. Her lips stained with the blood she spilled, her lips stained with the blood she spilled, declare, the prophecy is fulfilled. The hounds of hell shout in delight as she lifts the child up in the night. He softly moans, then soundly sleeps, not knowing the secret his young mind keeps. His arm will bear a scar that depicts the mark of his mother, 666. I was in a really creepy place when I read this, clearly. <laughs> okay, I really do love that poem. It came out just right. I think it really <laughs> um, goes well with her, and it rhymes. <laughs> so I can't shove that back in there. Okay, so yeah, that was my page. And then this next page is awesome. And I'm really glad I looked through this because... Um, the screening, um, it's so funny because you can kind of tell where we were in our, our mixed media explorations back then. And um, we were into using screens, I remember now, because I have a bunch of it, I still do. So I saw this and then I went and cut me off a chunk so that I can use it for the Dark Shadows thing, <laughs> right? <laughs> so yes, this is, this is already worth another flip through. And this one has this little piece right here that says steely eyes, which works. And this is kind of, her spread is, you know, this was her spread here. And then she included this middle part because she's extra that way. Steely eyes staring down through the seamless walls of darkness. Find me, always find me. This is Lisa Renner's page and she's she's just always you know like everything she does I think now she's into um, maybe clay seems like I saw and she's one of those who everything that she does she does really really well so she included her story right here in this little cool pocket of a different kind of a mesh wire metal mesh stuff and you'll also see that we were really into transparencies printing on transparencies you know you can tell that that's kind of where we were at <laughs> and then this next page this was Melissa David and then she has this collage uh, which I love over here kind of a little bit um, Vintage, a little bit modern, and then her story, again, printing on transparencies. That was the cool thing. Is right here. Done very cool. And she's got a little glassine envelope or vellum or whatever that is. And the next one, I can't remember exactly who did what. And some of these gals I knew, and but most of them I did not know. They were friends of uh, Donna's. So this is, um, was this Donna's? I don't remember. This might have been Donna's. So this was a story she related about her experience with cemeteries. And look how it fits right here. Again with the screen. Awesome. And then she's got um, a layered tag right here. And then more of the transparency. <laughs> awesome. Okay, next signature. Margot Rudder, Red Dog Scott, Ann Sager, Joan Kerr, and Sally Hill. First one. Cool rubber stamping. This probably we all kind of started with rubber stamping, and then by this time, 2002, we were really transitioning more to mixed media, as scrapbooking was becoming more popular. So her little poem says, "Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a trick or treat. Jack fell down without his crown, and Jill was chopped into meat." <laughs> 
I can totally appreciate <laughs> that that state of mind. <laughs> oh, love that. And then this one is this says Ann Sager, and she's got kind of a nautical uh, mermaid ocean theme going here. And her story is in this pocket. And she's printed it out and decorated it. I'm going to go back and read all these stories too so that I can, you know, really get in the mood. Because I know my Dark Shadows project is going to be, it's going to be Dark Shadows, but it's going to be just kind of generally creepy Halloween theme too. So, oh yeah, CDs, we were um, altering CDs, messing with CDs at that time. And next page, here's the story. And oh, this is Red Dog Scott's. And she's got a cool envelope right here. And then her, I love this background. And this one has her story right here. And this one is Joan Kerr. And she's got, oh, her story is a true story. I bet this collage kind of reflects the story. Very cool. And this one, <laughs> oh, this one was Sally's. <laughs> And I love this. She's got, this is a muslin little envelope here with, you know, blood. And then her story is printed out here. Which I believe it has darkened over the years. Because it wasn't, I don't remember it being that dark. Maybe it was. But she's got her story on this vellum. She printed on. And, oh yeah, the story, I don't remember the story. Let me see. It was about something about a hand. I have to take my glasses off. Um, no, I don't remember. I can't tell. And then this goes with the story. She's got the little bloody hand. <laughs> Too cool. And I love the, this muslin, the way she used it. That was a good idea. Get her background. Okay, last signature is Patty Heeb, April Mott, Terry Winery, and Carrie McCarville. And I feel like I've missed one. No? Okay, I did it. Okay, so this one's got kind of the um, Dia de los Muertos going and then her story that she printed out is skeleton in the attic which is I like the way her paper feels I don't know what that is but I'm kind of liking it very cool I like the way she did this that's clever and then this one is oh my gosh <laughs> This one just blows my mind. This was 2002, y'all. How she have those skills back then? I don't know. I didn't get them. Look, she's got the, the printing on transparency. I don't know where she got these images. They are beyond fabulous. And it is a techno terror. And look at the detail. Know your enemy. Can you hear them? Machine is listening. Whispers in the night. I can't get out. Uh, I can't read it. What does it say? Must pull plugs. If you can read this message, and I can't. Save yourself if you can. <laughs> I love it. So clever. She's got some of these are, you know, dimensional. And then her story is in here. And she's got it. 
you know, it's extra. Everything about this is extra. So that is super cool. Uh, we were going crazy with eyelets too. We were loving our eyelets, I can tell. And this next one, open at your own peril. This is another vellum. Oh, I don't want to tear it. Okay, that glue <laughs> is, is angry at the years. <laughs> um, Terry Winery. And then she's got a oh, look. This was like before this was even a thing, y'all. Look at her binding. And then her story. She just made a whole little book. and look at this you can see underneath she's got this um, this whatever this is and then look at her collage oh it's fabulous I love that I love all of these I love this book and then this one Carrie McCarville and she's got her story in here. The story is he waits. He waits. He looks super creepy while he's waiting. And let me get that back in there. Oh, come on, Shannon. It's not that hard. Okay, got it, got it. There we go. This is just, this is awesome. I love how she did that. And that is it. And in the end, Donna added the little tag. She's got my name on a tombstone because she's all thoughtful like that. And then that is the end of the book. So, um, I hope maybe you found a little inspiration in here. I know I certainly did. I am going to look up all these gals and uh, see if I can tag them so they can walk down memory lane with us. And that is all I have for today. The end.